What is going on dudes? My name is Lotta13 and welcome to our week 2 pre team preparation video. So, I want to show you guys the team that I and my, my buddy Jadark, who is my assistant coach, the best assistant coach in the damn DBL, uh, helped me put together this team this week to counter Ariadon. So, I'm going to be battling him here in a couple minutes. So, I want to get, uh, I want to show you guys what I was thinking. So, we're going to start out with Casper. So, he's got a Mega Metagross on his team. And that is one of the worst things in my case. Because I don't have a lot to counter it. But I do have a decent amount. I do have Pokemon that can counter it. So, I decided to choose Casper. Make it physically defensive as all hell. I'll give Foul Play Curse. And then Iron Tail and Detect. Iron Tail just in case that, um, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, Romantis comes around and, um... I'm stuck in against it somehow. Detect is just a move that I'm, I'm put on there uh, to, to to scout out what he's gonna send in next or what Pokemon, what move he's gonna use, so I can send in something according to that. Um, and then curse, if I can get a couple curses set up and then hit that Metagross with a foul play, it's gone, motherfucker. So as you see, I racked out with max HP, max defense, and then I put the last four in um, attack, just because I know that's different from a lot of. Um, Typical Umbreon sits. It already has really good special defense, so I decided to leave it there. And I decided to boost up its HP and defense because I want it to be able to take a hammer arm. Uh, and especially after a few curses, that'll be very, very helpful. So, pretty cool stuff. And I'm running leftovers because leftovers is very good for a bulky Pokemon. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. So, next we have Mew. This is our first time bringing Mew to a match. Uh, I needed Mew because I needed something for that Gliscor. It also is carrying Flamethrower to handle that, um... Uh, the Metagross, so pretty cool stuff. So as you see here, um, we're running Flamethrower, Knockoff, Will-O-Wisp, and Frost Breath. Flamethrower is to hit the um, the Metagross with, as I already said, just because I needed something super effective. I need something who can hit hard, because I don't have anyone else on my team that can learn like a Fire-type special move, because it's got really good physical defense, but not very good special defense. So I needed something to hit special Ice-type move, and I didn't have anyone but me who could learn that. Um, so I went for knockoff just if I can hit something with the knockoff. Maybe if I can hit that, uh, the Gliscor with the knockoff before it's able to get its poison on. Um, at the same time that wouldn't be very helpful because you'll see later. But the knockoff just to knock some items off Pokemon. And then Will-O-Wisp to burn whatever I need. So I maxed out its HP and special attacks so it can hit hard and, uh, live a few attacks. And so that's my goal in that case. So pretty cool stuff. Go in Life Orb to hit that little bit harder. So... I'm really excited to see what happens with this with this Mew. So, first time bringing it to match. I'm hoping I'm not gonna regret drafting it. <laughs> All right. So next we have Hillary here. So Hillary is my Tyrantrum, and um, I decided to go leftovers because I wanted to be able to live a hit. This thing is supposed to be bulky. So the way I'm doing this is um, I don't remember if I have what EVs I'm actually running on my. Um, I can actually check right here. Okay. So this one actually has max attack and max speed. It's too late to change it. It's not what I wanted, but you know what? It's okay. So the way that this thing, what this thing is meant to do, is it's supposed to be, um, I have Ice Fang on there, uh, and Strong Jaw. So, uh, originally mine had Rock Head, so what I had to do is, uh, Jadark helped me out with this. Jadark is freaking awesome. So now we have a Strong Jaw, uh, Tyrantrum that has Ice Fang, so if it can hit that, um, the Gliscor really, really hard, it will just, like, punch a hole in it, and it'll be awesome. Uh, Stealth Rocks, because I want to be able to get some rocks up on this team, because he's got three or four, I think it is, Pokemon that take 25% from rocks, which is very, very nice in my case. And, yeah, so Outrage, just to hit that a little bit harder. And then Stone Edge, because I don't want to go Head Smash if I'm not a Rock Head. So, pretty cool stuff. And then, obviously, Leftovers, just to keep it going. So, um, I was going to go Max HP, almost Max Attack, and then put the rest in Defense so I can live a hit, but... Turns out that the EVs aren't like that, and it's too late to change it, so I don't even care. Uh, Hillary will still do the job. We'll just <clears throat> we'll just put the stats in as I actually had them have them right now. There we go. Okay, so that's the set I was planning on running for Hillary, but you know what? It's all good. Um, <clears throat> change things up a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna swap into Roserade because Roserade. I remember um, on the post draft power rankings, I was given a hard time because of my fairy weakness. But this thing and Mew can easily take care of fairies, so I don't know what they talk about, motherfucker. So, <laughs> Life Orb Roserade, as you know, I really love using it. It's a really good Pokemon. Natural Cure if it gets hit with a Toxic, or actually can't be Toxic because it's Power Poison type. If it gets burned or paralyzed. Uh, I can just swap it out and it'll be healed, which is very, very nice. 
Uh, I'm going max sp special attack and max speed. It can live a special ha attack decently, depends on the move that the Pokemon is using, but it, sh it will be able to hit really, really hard and running a timid nature, so it can outspeed uh, some more stuff, which is pretty nice. So, as you see right here, I went for Toxic Spikes and Venoshock. So, this was an idea suggested by Jedrick. Venoshock, I think, doubles or uh, t is 1.5 times power. Yeah, double double power if the target gets poisoned. So, uh, pretty much Toxic Spikes are out there, so something steps on it, gets poisoned, hit it with the Venoshock, it's going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> then Giga Drink is a very, very powerful Grass-type move. Gets me the HP back, because I'm going to lose a good amount from that Life Orb. So, it'll be very, very helpful in Pokemon like Eskeldeo, if he decides to bring that and whatnot. Even though I can learn Ice Beam, I think that hopefully we should be able to learn it, which would, or take care of it, which would be very, very nice. So, and then I'm carrying Shadow Ball. I was thinking about going Dazzling Gleam, but I decided to go Shadow Ball, because if I get stuck in against that Metagross, I can hit the thing with the Shadow Ball, and it'll do a butt ton of damage. So, that is why I decided to go with Shadow Ball. So, pretty nice, pretty good stuff. I don't know. I'm saying too much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next we have Dakota. Dakota's getting her second battle in two games here. So, uh, I decided to go with Leftovers because it's a really bulky Pokemon to begin with. Serene Grace so we can get a uh, better chance of the flinch with Air Slash and then maybe, I think Dazzling Gleam lowers your special attack. Nope, never mind. That's completely incorrect. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So, we're running Roost on here. I ran Roost last week, but I did not actually use it. Um, Roost just to get my health back because... Um, Dakota can live a, a pretty damn good amount of hits. The reason I'm bringing this because this is my really my one of my only special walls on that I drafted, which really sucks. I can run Muse a special wall, but Dakota's is the only one who's like a natural special wall. So uh, I went uh, Bruce and Wish. So Wish is just to get um, some HP back if I need to swap into something that I need later in the battle. So that is why I went for Wish. Um, as you see here, max HP, max special defense, and I went with a calm nature. Just because it um, doesn't need its attack stat. If I can boost that special defense even higher, it's golden. It can live a nice hit. And I'm very, very excited. I'm, I, I'm, I'm really loving using Dakota. This is very, very nice so far. So, <laughs> pretty cool stuff. Now, our final Pokemon. I, don't, I think I brought Vex in the, last, in the last match. I cannot remember. I don't. It doesn't really matter. So, I'm running a different set this time. I decided to use my other one, who is my Choice Band one, with adaptability, but instead of Crab Hammer, because he doesn't really have anything that's weak to water besides that one, um, the Gliscor. So, I decided to get rid of Crab Hammer for Taunt, because if I can use Taunt on something like the, um, the Gliscor, that'll be very, very helpful. Force a Switch will be very, very nice. Knock Off will do a ton of damage to any of his Pokemon, basically. Uh, that he wants to send in that Keldeo and the Leopard and the Aromatisse. Not that big of a deal, but you know. And then Superpower, because Superpower can hit the few Dark types he has on his team, including that Weavile and uh, the Leopard. And it's pretty nice stuff. I'm really, I'm really, really glad I decided to consult Jadrick. Should have consulted him more last week. I just. Last week didn't go so well, but this week, I want to bring it around and get us on a winning streak. So, pretty nice stuff. So, that is our team, everybody. Uh, I'm very, very happy with how the team turned out. Um, it's going to be a very, very fun match, and I'm really hoping we can pull out a win. So let's go, Nido Kings. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all later.